find duplicates. When Lamu imports photos, exact duplicates of photos are automatically skipped. Lamu determines duplicates by comparing the content of the files. Even if a duplicate file is on a different computer and has a different name, Lamu knows it's a duplicate because the content in the file is exactly the same. There is a second type of duplicate files. The pictures in the two files look the same, or very close to our eyes, but the file contents are different. They may have a different resolution, they may contain different metadata, etc. When you take multiple shots of the same scene, or if you edit a photo and save the edited photo, these result in similar images but are actually distinct files. Lamu will not count these derived photos as duplicates and will import them. In this folder, I have three sets of photos. Each set contains four different files. Photo 1A is a high resolution photo. Photo 1B looks the same as 1A, however, has a lower resolution. Photo 1C is a copy of 1A. Photo 1D is a copy of 1B. In the second set, Photo 2a and photo 2b look the same and have the same dimensions. However, photo 2a has a resolution of 300 dpi, while photo 2b is 72 dpi. Photo 2b is created from 2a using Photoshop. It contains a lot of metadata generated by Photoshop. Photo 2c is a copy of 2A and 2D is a copy of 2B. In the third set, photo 3A and photo 3B look similar but are not the same. 3A is the original photo. 3B was created from 3A using Photoshop. The colours have been enhanced and the volleyball has been replaced with a pokeball. Photo 3C is a copy of 3A, and 3D is a copy of 3B. I'm going to import these 12 photos into an empty Lamu device now. The import has completed. From the timeline view, we can see that six photos have been imported. The other six files that are duplicate copies have been skipped. We can see more details from the import history. Here, we can see the status of each file. All six duplicates have been skipped. If you wish to keep only one photo from a set of photos that look the same, you can use the Find Duplicates feature to identify lookalike photos. You can then cherry pick which ones to keep or delete. Click the search text box, then click the Find Duplicates button on the top action bar. Lamu will display a dialog photo with some options. First, you need to decide on the threshold for identifying duplicates. Do you only want to only find those that look almost exactly the same? Or do you want to include those that are very similar? Second, within the photos that are identified as a duplicate group, which criteria do you want to use to identify the ones to keep? If the photos have different creation dates, you might want to keep the oldest. If the files have different resolutions, you probably want to keep the one with the highest resolution. If the file sizes are different, you may want to keep the one with the largest size, which usually means higher resolution. 
From a group of photos that are identified as duplicates, Lamu will check the ones that meet the criteria that you have chosen to keep. Click on the Find Duplicates button and Lamu will look through your entire library to find similar photos and put them in groups. The search is very fast for a small number of photos. This can take a while to complete if you have a large number of photos in your library since Lamu will need to compare each photo with every other photo in the library. Once the search completes, you will see a list of photo groups. Each group has a list of photos that look the same or are very similar. Here, Lamu has identified two groups that look the same. The photos in the list are sorted by date, then by resolution in descending order, then by file size in descending order. This way, the oldest photo file, the photo with the highest resolution, or the largest file size will appear first. If you want to keep just one photo in each group, the first one is likely the best choice. It will be checked to keep by default. You can then review each group. Check the ones you want to keep and uncheck the ones you want to delete. If you want to see the metadata for a photo, right click on the photo and choose Show Metadata. Double click on a photo to view it and see more information about a photo. Some key information about the photo is displayed at the bottom left corner. If you want to delete a photo, right-click on the photo and choose Delete this photo. Once you have reviewed all the groups, you can delete all the unchecked photos together. Click the Delete Uncheck Items button to delete all the unchecked items. In this case, since I only have one duplicate left, I will simply right click again and choose Delete. Now I am going to do another search for duplicates. This time, I will choose Photos that resemble. This time, I get the photos of the volleyball player. While the photo with Pokeball looks nicer, the volleyball photo is the original, so I am going to keep both. Now, if I go back to Timeline and reload, I will see that the duplicates are gone. Note, when photos are deleted, they go to the trash can first. From the trash can, you can then permanently delete them or 
restore them if needed.